heritage are Maori, Hawaiian, Scottish, Irish, Greek, um, Albanian, Romanian, and there might be a few others that I've probably missed out on, but there's a little bit of everything, and um, I live on Phillip Island, I have a yurt, and run meditation circles and just talking circles. And my background, I too have a story, and that was um, manifesting, manifesting all the wrong things. But, um, it, I'll just keep it short, as short as I can with this stick. Um, it took me to death. So I, I met death and I was also put on a lot of medication. The doctors told me I was sick. I said, what are the symptoms? I didn't have any until all of a sudden I had every symptom that they told me and I got some more. And so then I ended up being really, really sick until I was um, given 24 hours, so I bring the family in, and and then all of a sudden I sat up, and I thought, I'm not, no, no, this is not right, and I had a voice, and that voice said, it was an all-pervasive voice that was out there, in here, it was in every soul, every, every atom that said, you have something to learn, and something to teach, and then it was gone, and I just laid back down. And from there, everything started changing. But it was still a long journey because I was on a lot of medication until one day I thought, I'm done with this too. So cold turkey, just threw it all out. And I've never looked back and I don't like the doctors very much because I healed. It was just through... Um, I realised I'd manifest everything that I'd brought upon myself from words. So words are very tricky. And then... I started healing when I saw my girlfriend roll up her roller door and get her bike out and she started to, we live near the beach, she hopped on the bike and started riding and then I wanted to feel that feeling. So I could feel that feeling of actually being really healthy and fit and riding that bike and